Hey, so recently we've been getting a few questions about chamfering ports for cast iron cylinders. Um, this pretty much pertains to cast iron cylinders, although you always wanna check even if you have an aluminum cylinder, if this has been done to the ports. Um, chamfering the ports is basically referring to um, the edges of the ports themselves. Let's see if I can get this in focus, good for you guys. So the edges of, them, of the ports um, having sharp edges, not being rounded over. Um, this is a final step that on most cast iron cylinders, especially sport kits, uh, you're basically gonna have to finish yourself. Uh, most manufacturers, except for sometimes if it's a Corsa, they've been uh, chamfered mildly, but especially some of the stage six cast iron sport cylinders, and especially the Melosi cast iron 70cc kits for most bikes, the ports aren't chamfered at all. And what happens is when the pistons, when the piston rings travel past that edge, instead of them being able to go in and out smoothly, they're basically contacting that edge abruptly. Um, and that'll wear your rings out sooner. It can chip uh, the lining off your cylinder, do all kinds of stuff you don't want done. And it's really a pretty easy step to ensure that your bike's uh, gonna run as long as possible on the 70cc kit. So this is a blown up street race Piaggio kit. So it's already, it's already been done. Um, try to get that focus in there. So you can see this one also, uh, the ring took out the exhaust port, so it's not exactly a perfect example, but you can see if it'll focus how the, um, the edges of those ports are slightly rounded over. And if you have a cast iron um, cylinder, you'll be able to see if these are sharp, you can run your finger over it and it won't be a, a smooth transfer. It'll be a nice abrupt edge. Uh, so pretty easy to do. You can do it with a rotary tool, which I find to be a little bit harder, or you can get yourself a set of mini uh, kind of like diamond style files. And these are, this is just a cheap Harbor Freight set and it works great for chamfering the ports. The one I use the most is gonna be the circle, the circle um, rasp file. That gets it uh, pretty easy. And then you wanna finish it up with a finer, like a diamond file. Um, and you can get a couple different shapes here. Um, you're never going to really want to use a flat too much. You always want to have a uh, file with like a slight curve to it. The circular ones work really good. Um, and the idea is basically to get your tool in here and maintain um, a nice angle all the way across. So basically what you want to do is just work it slowly across until you get a nice edge to it. And um, if your files are not super dull, uh, the exhaust port might take, you know, a minute or two to get the top and bottom good. Um, and the transfers might take maybe three or four minutes to get all of them. So the idea basically being that you go all of the top and bottom, you don't have to worry about the sides too much because it's only where the rings are contacting going up and down every stroke. So you want to get, make sure all your, uh, main transfers are done side transfers, any boost ports that are on there. Um, sometimes the boost ports, if you have this style, will um, sort of taper back up in there. So those ones you just wanna make sure are nice and smooth. Um, those are usually not a huge problem. The biggest one is gonna be the exhaust port on that one as well. Um, so go around, and I'm just showing you guys quickly, obviously not gonna do the whole thing, but you just go around, file those nice and smooth, get in here, file those ones, try to get the corners, and try to maintain an even angle going across uh, the whole way you don't want valleys and stuff like that um, and you're also not trying to change the actual height of the ports again you're just trying to round off the edges so don't go completely crazy and start maybe pretty hard with some of these smaller files to actually really start to do anything also be a little careful of how you're holding it because it's pretty easy if you slip off then you'll leave a nice scratch on your cylinder which is not the end of the world but if you're doing it on a brand new cylinder it's not a very nice thing to see so that's about it um I like to go around and do all the top ones first and then flip it and then go through and do all the bottoms. So same thing on the bottom, you're just gonna wanna go through, maintain a nice angle. It's really hard to film this one at the same time, but maintaining that nice, like roughly 30 degree angle all the way across. You don't need to get the sides of the exhaust port. You only wanna go to where uh, the radius basically starts to be vertical or in line with the, the uh, direction of piston travel. Um, Again, you shouldn't need to really do this on many uh, Nicocel line cylinders. If you have an aluminum cylinder that's steel sleeved, which is pretty uncommon, uh, you might need to do that. But basically every 70cc sport kit that comes out of the box, this should at least, very least be checked 
and if not, um, actually uh, adjusted. So we will be putting a service on the website um, here shortly to actually have this done to new cylinders, but that's basically all there is to it. Don't forget to like them, subscribe, so we can make more videos like this. Thank you guys.